This morning in the kitchen, two of our favorite guys, TV Major G, Joe Zito, Chef John Granada from the Post Office Cafe, and we have got some great items that you could probably incorporate into your Thanksgiving meal. Yeah. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. I mean, I, I got an email from you that said you were panicking about sides. What, what am I going to do? Exactly. Yeah, what are we going to do? Dishes for so, you. Because sometimes I feel like you got to jazz it up. Year but, after year, it's nice to expect you some know, of the, the mashed same. potatoes well, the and all the usuals, but there's mm -hmm. some other things. Right. I yeah. mean, every year I come in, I usually do a different stuffing for you, things like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so this year we want to show you a couple of different sides. Okay. Listen. There, there, there's so many variables to what you can do, mm -hmm. but you know, I'm just going to give you a few easy ones so that you can add to your repertoire. Perfect. So, what do we need? So, we're going to do a butternut squash dish, which is very uh, uh, gratin style, which mm -hmm. is very quick to do. And the other one, we're going to do some roasted Brussels sprouts, and in those, we're going to do Beautiful. some candied, some uh, candied, thick cut bacon. Wow. Right. And we're going to put some pecans. We're going to put some cranberries in it mm -hmm. and um, some caramelized onions. So really it's going to be a little. Beautiful, sweet, and savory. Right. And the colors, when you see them on thing. the table, the colors will, will just pop too. Is that, I know some, what, some panko and some other right, herbs so the, and things? So this is going to be for the au gratin. Though. Basically, okay. all we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to flavor up the heavy cream with a little bit of sage and garlic. Mm. And then we're going to throw some panko on top and some Parmesan cheese and some olive oil. Parsley and just bake that in the oven until it's all bubbly. Mm, it's good Love stuff. It. Ooh, that's what I like when you pull something out of the oven, right? And it's still oh, kind of yeah. doing its thing. And then the Brussels sprouts, too. We've been talking about this. Brussels sprouts used to be that vegetable where everyone just kind of put them to the side. They're delicious. Brussels sprouts exactly. are on fire. If you haven't tried them in a while, you're going to want to try them. Try them with some, what, candied bacon? Candied that's what's bacon. going in it. And that's I mean, the best way to ease you your way anything into it. With bacon, right? <laughs> Throw candied bacon in there. We're going to get cooking in just a bit. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen, and we love these two guys. John and Joe are here. Saw you out there in the last segment. Yes. Uh, license and registration. Well, I know. Going to see, see my license. Make sure yeah. we're, we're of legal age. <laughs> I love Brussels sprouts. I love all of this. I, I love all stuff. of this stuff. And I know Michaela had said it before that Brussels sprouts are, are not to make, make it a comeback. A yeah. lot of restaurants oh, yeah. are yeah, putting them on the, the menu, oh, yeah. just cooking them they're different like the ways. Cubs. Yeah, <laughs> they're like the Cubs. Yeah. So what do you want to do right now? Like so the Cubs. Anyway, anyway, so we, we're going to do a nice Brussels sprout dish. Brussels sprouts dip dish. And what I did was I pre roasted them. He didn't have any wine. He didn't have any wine. I didn't even have any That bourgeois. bottle sealed. Unbelievable. <laughs> so um, I pre roasted these because when we come back in the next segment, I want to be able to throw this together for you. Without, mm -hmm. you know. So we, we roast these up ahead of time. You take them out, you let them cool a little bit. Meanwhile, we're going to take, do not touch that handle. Okay. We're going to take, we take a butternut squash, right? Peel it, seed it, and slice it, and just, you know, make some kind of a pinwheel effect. Doesn't have to be perfect. Take a little bit of heavy cream and throw some sage leaves in it to, to uh, scent it. Good okay. stuff. Right? Yep. Throw a little bit of garlic in there. Always. Right? A little bit of garlic. A little more garlic. Yep. A little salt. A little pepper. Mm hmm Right? You're going to bring that to a boil and infuse, you're going to infuse that in there. So basically, all you're going to do is you're going to pour this over it. Looks good. Right? Look at that. And this is very simple. You want some panko breadcrumbs. You See, can either a see good size. I mean, they're... Yep. They're nice and crunchy. Right. Uh, you can either get them seasoned or non-seasoned, whatever you like. A little pecorino romano or parmigiano. Yum. It's just a wonderful, creative, is, yeah. creative way to do this. Yeah. We all have our traditional, it's you know, it's like the mash, the right. butternut squash. But this, this is a nice way of doing it. This is a good way of doing it. Some yeah. parsley. And then you're just going to put a little bit of olive oil over the top. Mm -hmm. Right? And then we're going to throw that in the oven. We come back and show you the Brussels sprouts. We'll show you what that looks like. Okay, sounds good. All right, so we will put that together. We'll try it out. We'll talk about the restaurant, too, Post Office Cafe. For holidays, you're here looking for a place to have a great party, a great event. That's the place. And this guy has been very, very busy. He's ah, like the shows he's are like coming, Santa. baby. He's like Santa. He's so busy. <laughs> we'll talk about the shows and some wine in just a little bit. Back ho, to you. Ho, ho. Back to the Roadshow Kitchen we go this morning with these two guys. Who's better than Chef John Granada from Post Office Cafe? To my right and to my left, the TV maitre d himself, Joe Zito. It's a Brendan Kirby sandwich. Yeah, Good morning, something sir. no one would well, ever order. I don't know about that one. But, but here uh, we are, are to talk about what's been going on. And you, sir, have been hard at work. The roasted Brussels sprouts with thick cut bacon and butternut squash au gratin. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. One take. Thanks, buddy. It's live TV. <laughs> Very polished. Thank you. I try my best to keep up with you, but you've been hard at work here. Okay, so I want to stop this out quick because... Actually, it doesn't look like you've done anything. I didn't do anything. <laughs> so, you tried, though, Brendan. So we, thick cut bacon. You can find that in the market. Right? It usually comes in a slab. Slab bacon. You're going to cut it up. You're going to dice it up nice and thick. Right? 
Yeah, those are great cuts. Right. So at the same time you put the bacon in, a little olive oil, you put the onions right in there too. Mm -hmm. Get that going together. And you work that flavor all the way around in there. Right, and that's going to take a few seconds. So we, we took the liberty of roasting the Brussels sprouts up ahead of time. They look awesome. A little olive oil, salt, and pepper. Put it in the oven for about 20 minutes, 425. Take it out. You want to, you know, just a lim you want some color, but you don't want to, you know, you don't want to get any black on them. So those are just about right. Yeah, and right. the days are gone when people say, I don't like Brussels no, sprouts. No, Because exactly. there are a million different ways to have them, and you should really, you know, be adventurous. You know, you know what I'm saying? And you eat your vegetables. No, I know. It's like my dad is here, but I, when I started with the road show, I, I'm still somewhat of a kitchen novice or neophyte, but my palate wasn't that expansive, and it has opened up since yeah, I've worked that's in Brussels sprouts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Brussels sprouts are fabulous. And this guy, Joe, has so many things happening at Post Office Cafe, doesn't he? We'll he, talk about him while he's working. Well, he really does, because if you're looking now, we have segments, beautiful side dishes. Now, say next week, you, you, you're wondering where you can get your side dishes. You're making the turkey, you're making the ham, you're making the lamb. This guy does it. You have to call the restaurant. You don't make your sides. John, what kind of yeah. stuff? Call me ahead of time, and, and we can do things like uh, these Brussels sprout dishes. We can do um, butternut squash. We can do yams. We can do sweet potatoes. Uh, uh, Jello. Oh, that's now you have my attention. Jello, if you want Jello, I can do Jello. But. <laughs> Um, we can do your mashed potatoes for you. You know, anything that you need to, to make your day Save easier, your time. except for the turkey. You've got to do the turkey <laughs> yourself. I'm sorry, you have to do the turkey yourself. But I'll do everything else for you. And location, of course? 11 Main Street, East Greenwich. It's a oh, great spot. The gateway by. to East Greenwich. Absolutely. And you, sir, the TV Maitre okay. D show rolls on. <laughs> yes, and, and because it is the holiday season, this coming Sunday, I premiere my three holiday editions. 36 restaurants represented. People love it. A few other valued clients and businesses. And those run in equal shuffle mode through New Year's Eve. Unbelievable. And the Post Office Cafe is one host. Rooftop at the Providence G, another, and my friend Luciano Zostaria Cascana uh, in Johnston. And then there are 33 other restaurants in the shows, cooking segments from Twin Oaks, cooking segments from Camille's. Oh, man. We're rocking. And we got the wine segments and the Jack Daniels segment. Oh, I love it. And, you know, people are kind of struggling. You know, the holidays obviously come once a year. Where are we going to go? Where are we going to dine? Watch the shows. That's all Go to the website. How many seasons now? Uh, well, we're at the end of our 13th year, and we're going to try it again next year until we get it right. No, That's what we're going to do. you perfected it, my friend, but you can always improve. You can always get better. John, where, what are we doing here? Okay, so we added some pecans, uh, a little fresh thyme, and some butter. We want to let that butter, bu the, the butter brown a little bit. Okay. Let a little, put a little brown sugar in there. Oh, goodness. This is going to be so good. Yeah, yeah, and a little one, squeeze two. of lemon. Absolutely. The well, acidity is going to bring that up. <laughs> this is why I wear an apron. Right. <laughs> I'm going to salt and pepper that because when we add that back in, this looks fantastic. So I want to show you. Smells great too, doesn't it, huh? I want to show you what the sweet with the uh, butternut au gratin looks like. Wow. Now, just imagine this on your table, right? I would love this on my table at home. It's like colors. It's everything. Look at the colors Look at you. A little uh, cranberry. All right. Oh, my goodness. Look at that little finished vino. product. A little vino. 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 Look at this beautiful dish. Look at that. That is spectacular. Can we get a shot of this right here? Pull the old switcheroo here. That is gorgeous. <laughs> These are the guys, Joe Zito, the TV maitre d', Chef John Granada from the Post Office Cafe. Thank you very much, gentlemen. All right. Always a pleasure you. to have you here. Look at this. We can fight you, crime. The three of us can fight crime on the streets. If you would like more information from these fine gentlemen, roadshow.com.